I fed them today pellets, Atlantic mackerel, and I must say I have never seen a tummy bulge on the Indian shovel nose, Spirata aor. But now I say bulge, which is very, very interesting and, and pleasant to see. It usually only takes pellets. Not usually, I mean, it, it always took pellets for me. Maybe when it was tiny, like three to 10 inches, it took some fish pieces. But since one foot, I've never seen it take fish. It was all about the pellets. So it must have filled up on the pellets today giant New Life Spectrum pellets. I threw quite a bit in there. And another interesting thing is that uh, now it chases, it gives short chases to Parun shark, Parun sharks, which I've never seen before either. change in behavior. I turn the light on, maybe it will not show the... the chasing behavior it used to show. Just, I mean it just showed a moment ago. I was standing here watching and the Indian shovel nose was bumping and uh, lightly biting the pectoral fins of the Paroons to get him out of the way and, and uh, away from the bottom. He's claiming the bottom. Parons rarely go to the bottom. They usually stay mid-water to top water. He's got, he's got quite a few abrasions on him too, so he has, he's got some not nasty but bites by the tail on the caudal peduncle. See? See? He just he just lightly showed the smaller Perun that the Perun was not welcome. Once again, now it's the bigger Perun. I've just published a video where Indian shovel nose came back from the one time, from the one year timeout. Actually, it was longer than one year. I took it out in August 2021, and I put it back in here in November 2022. So it's almost a year and a half timeout because he was biting our big piraiba. The same thing, just lightly nudging it and biting the fins and it's been lasting for many years so I took him out and put him in timeout but now that we lost our big piraiba I had no reason to keep him in that uh, 300 gallon timeout tank anymore so I put him back here he's been here probably about a couple of weeks I want to say It doesn't seem to touch any other fish, the Lyrii, the Hybrid, the Red Tail, and the Jiao. Well, he better not touch Jiao, Jiao will kill him. Jiao is still the boss. But he's... bothering the Peruns. If we go a couple years back, or um, 
you might also remember I have a video on it too where the Peruns when they got hungry they attacked they attacked him that's why a piece of the dorsal fin is missing that's the Peruns who beat it off and then I had to take him out into a 240 gallon for him to heal up and recuperate the hybrid for some reason doesn't like red tail anymore so that's another slight complication that we're experiencing right now anyhow so Peruns when they're hungry they can destroy any fish by biting it even though they can't swallow it so that was about two years ago and until today I must say I've never seen Indian shovel nose although the Peruns even though they've been on and off they've been in this tank together for um, I want to say five years Anyhow, I just wanted to show you the Tommy, which is nice. Never seen the Tommy on him before, uh, but today I really gave him a lot of pellets. So he partook quite well. And I wanted to show that uh, he doesn't like Peruns. The Peruns are not really bothered. See, they're still swimming down below, down low. But when, when they feel the uh, Indian shovel nose by touch, you, you just saw how the balloon sped up when it came in contact with the, with the Indian shovel nose. That's because the Indian shovel nose bothers them a little bit, behaves aggressively. Nothing terrible at all, nothing, no, no, no damage on Parooms yet, but who knows what, where this is gonna go towards the de-escalation or towards an escalation. He's definitely got a lot of confidence chasing the Peruns. Wow. I apologize for the cloudy water. I fed him today and uh, it usually clouds water a little bit. Yep, now he's chasing away sexy. Out of the blue. Sexy the Gisticioros sex fasciarum fasciarus. Yeah, he's definitely claiming claiming a big territory in the, in the tank. Again, chasing sexy. Leary, I didn't like him touching himself, touching him either. But Leary, I turned around and was ready to face this pirata. I'm not running away. Like the Peruns do.
Well, that's a little development with this Pirata Hour. It's only maybe one third or one quarter by weight. No, definitely one quarter or one fifth of the Peruns. The skinny built fish, Peruns are bulky and thick. See? I don't know if you caught it. He, he opened the mouth to lightly bite the to lightly bite the fin of the passing Peroon. By swimming this laps, Spirata projects confidence, I want to say. Patrolling my territory, that's the message I get. <laughs> 